Okay, this video is going to be vibratory screeds for concrete and why some versions are not recommended by myself and anyone else with a understanding. Okay, um, with that said, let me give you the understanding. Here's the machine that's going to vibrate the screeds, two screeds. Um, where's the, where is the uh, most vibration going to be? Right at the machine, working its way out. If that's the case, when this goes to vibrate, um, it's going to consolidate or consolidate the stone, make the stone heavy. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bring the cream to the top, and it's going to make the stones consolidate down the bottom, the lower part. So you'll get a, uh, a more of a cream um, finish here from, say, you know, wherever this influence is, but especially while it's sitting there running. The stone, it's still vibrating. The most part for right right there so you're going to create a soft spot if you will softer psi wherever the motor is um, now you got the truss screeds that go uh, that has the motor on the outside and it, it's so far away that they try to keep the vibration um, on the screeds themselves by using a, a system that shares the vibration all the way down um, ideally uh, even more evenly well more evenly than this and again this vibration is mostly in the center and therein lies the problem okay that's it on uh vibratory screech and why um some and, and why you know that um you know my opinion of them um if you can keep this moving fast enough you won't you won't consolidate as much down there. You won't do much vibrating vibration out here either, though. So you're always going to have this error um, influenced weakness right down the center or wherever the motor is located, unless you can somehow engineer it where the vibration is equal all the way down. Um, take care.